At the Humble Texas Open yesterday, Randy Johnson reported to be at the top of his game. Instead, ate what only could be called a piece of humble pie. Johnson, who shot a tournament low 65 on Friday and yesterday birdied the first hole to tie for the lead, promptly bogeyed number two, starting a fast fall to a 75. With Johnson spiraling down, Anthony Mendenberg was the next to mount a charge with four straight birdies on the front nine. But Mendenberg dunked his tee shot in the water on the 18th and shot a 69 to finish at eight under. Javier Wills opened with seven pars, then started a run of five birdies and six holes with a bunker shot to three feet on the par 5 eighth. He dropped to 11 under with a bogey at 17, then got the shot back with a 30-foot birdie putt on the 18th. Several other players made surges Saturday, but no one overtook Chase Martin, who kick-started his day with a short birdie putt on the par 5 fourth. He chipped in over a ridge for another birdie at number 6 and made a 30-footer on number 7 to move to 14 under. Martin, who parred his two remaining holes for a 67 to finish at 11 under, then opened his third round with the three straight pars. Now from the world of international boxing, last night in Germany, Diego Ibarra stomped Tommy Gal in the sixth round of a one-sided fight to gain the title. Ibarra's right hook finished off Gal 32 seconds into the round, the second time Gal was floored in the fight. Ibarra and Gal first met in the ring in November 2001. Although he survived two knockdowns on his way, Gal lost that bout as well. This time around, Ibarra finished Gal off earlier. In the fourth round, Gal climbed to his feet after being knocked down, then took a beating for more than a minute until Ibarra backed off. The 32-year-old Gal has made three successful defenses of the belt. Gal said he'll have to decide if he wants to continue his career while Ibarra's career now seems resurrected.